All right, back on the uh, young lady, and I'm going to be working on her hair today. Sleeves and arms and all that other stuff's going to wait until I get this part done. Time to play with some clay. Okay. Her uh, muscle on this neck is just a little thick. Sometimes you can get carried away with the muscles. I may have to do that collar again. I gotta tell you, this is one of those days I don't even feel like sculpting. But I'm gonna do it until I decide not to do it. I don't want to damage the piece because I'm not in the mood. Yes, artists have moods. <laughs> Lots of them. All right, I made a big mistake on the neck. I was making it too thick in the back. And uh, the neck has to look very delicate. A long neck is beautiful on a woman. And uh, this neck was looking a little too muscular. Also, I'm still working on the uh, smile. Because I'm not totally happy with it yet. I'm getting there. It just takes time. Because when you're looking at it from this angle, where her head is back, if you don't have it right, it doesn't look right. And it doesn't look right. It's looking more right now, but it wasn't a few minutes ago. Everything, everything is in the works. So no matter how it looks right now, it's going to change eventually. Now i got to figure out how I'm going to do her hair. And uh, this is just the under hair. It's the uh, mass that I need to have to work from. And uh, I just need to work this all out. Well, I can't get it down any lower with my sculpting stand, so I have to tilt her up so that I can see the top of her head a little more clearly because I've got to have the hair on the top of the head as well. So I'm going to start adding hair on the top of the head and then work down. I think that's the best way to approach this. I'm going to put her part in her hair on the side. And not in the center. I laid out her hair line when I did her face and that's because I need to have the border where the hair is going to be and uh,
I think you can see why I tilted her forward. So I gotta do this. Next to the smile, the hair is the most important thing on this whole piece. And uh, it's got to be done right. Sounds like I got an animal on the other side of the wall in front of my sculpting stand. Probably trying to keep warm. <laughs> Echo, what's the uh, wind chill? Right now, the wind chill is 22 degrees Fahrenheit. That's warm up. Tonight, expect it'll feel like 10 degrees. Ah, come on, Dave. Coordinate your hand. If you hear me breathing and it sounds loud, it's because my face is right next to the camera. So it intensifies the sound of my breathing. I'm not dying. I'm just old. I'll be 78 years old this week. Can't believe it. I've made it this far. 78. Never ever thought I would be. Before the turn of the century, I didn't think I was going to make it to the turn of the century. But I did. Yeah, I like that better now.
There's a lot of structure to the smile. And uh, it just takes time and patience and a little clay. Okay. I haven't time to completely do this, so I'll come back tomorrow and uh, continue. But I'm liking what it looks like right now. I'll have to see what it looks like when I get done. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.